Unfortunately, I only own the Hero 10. So earlier on, I drove up to Sydney to a camera renting shop and I've rented this for the day, the GoPro Hero 12. I rented this from Rent-A-Cam, had a nice chat with the guy working there, it was really cool. So if you ever wanna rent some cameras, you need something quickly, I recommend going to those people, they were really cool. Gonna be doing a non-bias Insta360 Ace Pro versus GoPro Hero 12 comparison. So comparing the footage out of this camera versus this camera at nighttime and also daytime. We're gonna be doing the nighttime test first tonight and then tomorrow before I return this camera, we'll be doing the daytime test. So the way we're gonna go about this is put these cameras in their auto mode and record as they come straight out of the box. And then I'll do a test putting the optimal settings into both cameras for low light shooting and cinematic footage during the day and see what footage comes out looking nicer. Whatever looks better, I'm going to say honestly what looks better. So yeah, that's enough talking. I'm sure you guys know the specs and everything about these two cameras. So let's just get straight into the comparison. All right, it's night time now. As you can tell, we got everything set up here. The Hero 12 and the Ace Pro on a dual mount setup. So for the first test, we're gonna put both the cameras in complete auto mode. So what you would expect when you take these right out of the box, not doing pure video mode on the Ace Pro, just the normal video mode on the Ace Pro, normal video mode on the Hero 12. So let's do it, first test. mode on both cameras as you would get it straight out of the box and uh, I don't think this is going to be anything special both cameras will probably look quite similar actually pretty normal lighting not city light or anything just suburb lighting street lights riding through town so pretty normal low light conditions the audio is coming out of the Ace Pro I've got the mic plugged into the Ace Pro even when switching over to the GoPro, it's still coming from the Ace Pro. I'm not able to have two microphones plugged in at the same time. Well, actually, yeah, I probably could. Uh, we're gonna stop at the next service station and change the settings there. I think that's good for the, for the auto mode. If you're really into action cameras or just cameras in general and you love making videos, you're probably never gonna use auto mode anyway. If you're like me, at least. I love tweaking absolutely everything I can. So yeah, let's go change it up. Okay. Pure video on the Insta360 Ace Pro. GoPro is still on auto, so that's the next test. GoPro is still the same, but now Ace Pro is on pure video. This is probably a good test. I feel like the GoPro can't see anything right now, but the Ace Pro in pure video mode is probably chilling. Is that lightning? I can feel rain. I think it's raining right now. Pure video in auto mode as well. Completely auto as soon as you switch to the setting. That's how I've left it. Basically what that setting does is turn up the ISO and then turn up the shutter speed so there's not as much motion blur. So if I were to do this right now, there'd be like, there'd be motion blur and the highlights would be freaking out and everything like that. So when you turn that option on, it turns up the ISO in order to turn up the shutter speed and pure video cleans that all up. But personally, I like motion blur in my footage, so I keep that off. But here's what it looks like anyway. So now if I look around, bump around and stuff, Stabilization should be doing a better job because it's got sharper frames to work with because the shutter speed's higher. I personally like motion blur in my footage, so. The GoPro doesn't come with this option, so the GoPro is still in fully automatic mode.
All right, so now we're gonna be putting the optimal settings into the GoPro Hero 12. We're gonna be changing it to manual mode and changing a couple settings around to what I think would work best. And we're gonna pair that up against automatic pure video on the Ace Pro. So basically for settings, I just got 4K 30, one over 60 shutter speed, ISO minimum 100, ISO max 1600. I turn stabilization off because I love the way stabilization looks turned off. Unfortunately, pure video, you cannot turn stabilization off. So pure video is still gonna have stabilization on, but uh, yeah, we're gonna get that smooth motion blur out of the GoPro. I'm gonna turn back off the low light stabilization enhancement, so we should get a little bit of motion blur out of the Ace Pro, but nowhere near as smooth as the Hero 12 is gonna look because we've doubled the shutter speed, and that's just what you do for cinematic footage. So yeah, I don't know if that any of that made sense, but the people that are into cameras will get what I'm saying. Anyway. All right, Insta360 still in pure video mode, low light enhancement stabilization is off. GoPro Hero 12, full manual settings set to what I think will look good, set to what I think will look cinematic, aka stabilization off and motion blur. Unfortunately, Ace Pro pure video mode, you cannot turn stabilization off, which I would absolutely love if they brought that as a feature. Turning stabilization off on the Ace Pro will be a game changer. In pure video mode, you can turn it off in normal video mode, but in pure video mode, that will be a game changer for night footage. So take my feedback into account, I don't know. But yeah, we're kind of just riding around the same route. Probably gives it a good idea of, of the different settings because it's all the same lighting, but uh. probably tell right now that uh, Hero 12 has got that buttery smooth motion blur and with the stabilization off it probably looks really looks like probably looks like I'm going faster than I am but as for brightness wise the Ace Pro is definitely I think at least definitely killing the GoPro right now light wise especially if we get somewhere even darker the Ace Pro just with the AI chip it's able to really clean up the dark footage and brighten it up and clean it up we're gonna hit some back streets see what that looks like in comparison yeah it's quite dark back here this is probably a good test Perfect place to stop. A gym. A gym car park. That's one of the um, Amped Bros Ace Bike competitors right there. They actually stand no chance compared to the Ace Amped Bros ones. So that guy should have used my code and got an Ace Amped Bros one. I hope he can't hear me right now. But he made a grave mistake. Oh, that, that thing doesn't even have suspension. Before the last firmware update on the Ace Pro, you used to be able to do manual settings in pure video mode. But with the most recent firmware update, they've taken that away completely, so you can only do auto mode in pure video mode, which I personally think is a step in the wrong direction. I like to have as many buttons to play with as possible to tweak the footage how I want it. I'm gonna try and see if I can talk to some people at Insta360, give them some feedback on that latest firmware update, and see if we can get manual settings back into pure video mode, and also additionally get the option to turn stabilization off in pure video mode. Mode, that would be insane. So for the next test, I'm gonna be taking the Ace Pro out of pure video mode, putting it into normal video mode, and putting the settings I would usually put on like the GoPro or something without pure video mode. So they are both gonna be running pretty much identical settings. 4K 30 FPS, one over 160 shutter speed, ISO 100 minimum, ISO max 1600. Stabilization off, because I don't like that, that's just me. Personally, I like my footage looking action packed. Turning that off on both. What else, standard color picture profile, high bit rate, auto white, balance because the lights are changing with every street so that's pretty much it both are running complete same settings this is going to be the fairest test there is the low light footage coming out of the ace pro so yeah let's get set up and go try it out this is probably going to be the most fair comparable mode they both have pretty much identical settings settings i would apply to most cameras in general to be completely fair smooth buttery motion blur from both cameras no stabilization. This is how I like my footage filmed. 
and how I do it during the day on the Ace Pro as well. But unfortunately, they took away manual settings for pure video mode, as I just mentioned. So I'm resorting to putting it back to normal video mode and testing out, seeing how it looks there. The video I filmed where I rode into Sydney for the Thrill Meetup, that was pure video manual settings. And that footage looks clean. Motion blur, stabilization still on, but there's motion blur and you can set the max ISO to lock out at 1600. When the Ace Pro is in pure video mode auto, you can't set max ISO. So sometimes it actually makes it a little too bright, which is another reason they should bring back manual settings in pure video mode. I know they're catering to beginners and just ease of use mainly, ease of use at 100%. It would be great to have the option to be able to do manual settings if you want. It's an easy thing to turn on and off, so I'm not sure why they got rid of that go to the highway and see how it looks. Imagine these buttery smooth manual settings but on top of it add AI to clean up the footage. There would be no one able to compete with it. They need to bring these. <laughs> I'm really pushing for it but it'll make this setup so good. But uh, if you guys are enjoying this video at all, you gain any information, learnt anything new, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button really appreciate it a lot and if you do want to pick up any of these cameras any of the equipment I use in my videos please check out the links in my description there's a bunch of affiliate links you guys can check out it really helps me out a lot whoa you see that lightning that was sick also I can't thank you guys enough we just hit 20,000 subscribers that's crazy the support recently has been awesome we're about to hit the highway so let me let me be quiet for a second so you guys can watch the footage very dark. I wonder what it looks like now. There's no pure video to enhance the shot so this is going to be the real test. The raw capabilities of the camera without the artificial intelligence robot sitting on the sensor drinking tea and fixing the footage. Alright, that's it for nighttime, I guess. Now we're gonna do a smooth transition to daytime. I don't know how smooth that <laughs> is gonna be. Let me try again. <laughs> or one of these ones. <laughs> Alright, it is daytime now. It's a bit of a gloomy day, but should be fine to do the test. Both cameras set to the settings I think optimal for cinematic looking footage, stabilization off. Um, 1 over 160, 4K30. Again, smooth motion blur. And uh, they should look pretty similar during the day. Postman Pat, that's a nice playground. The GoPro, you can actually make it wider. You can do what is called Hyperview. I couldn't do that on my old Hero 10. So that was just Super View. Now we're gonna change it to Hyperview. Ace Pro does not have that. The widest it can go is Action View. And that's gonna be the final test for today, so. I've given you guys a lot of tests, a lot of sample footage to work with, so let's go see what this looks like. All right, now this is Hyperview on the GoPro, same settings on the Ace Pro, the widest it goes is Action, so Hyperview is just a warped version of Superview. They kind of warp it and make the edges look wider. I'm not really sure if this Hyperview is gonna look good. I've never tried it out before, and I probably, I'm not sure how much of a fan I'll be of it because it distorts the edges, but we'll see. But yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for the comparison. I tried every mode, compared every settings I could think of to each other. And yeah, if you guys found any value out of this video, please consider subscribing and using the affiliate links below. It really helps out a lot. Everything you see I use in my videos will be in the description. I
it's high stakes. I used to spend time This is GoPro's 12th edition of their action camera lineup, and this is Insta360's first edition of this style of camera. So far for the Ace Pro to be this good already and clearly dominating GoPro in low light conditions, the Ace Pro can only get better from here. The image quality of the Hero 12 is undeniably good. It is very clean during the day, and comparing it to the Ace Pro in daylight conditions, you can see that the Hero 12 has a bit more punch and clarity in the footage. I think the Ace Pro's focus distance is just slightly past the point of the bike and the handlebars, so it looks somewhat out of focus. I think and hope this can be fixed in a later firmware update or with filters. Overall, the shots at night coming out of the Ace Pro are clearly the winner with the pure video mode. The GoPro on the other hand with the 12 editions of this camera have really mastered the overall clarity and image quality of their camera. Still sucks at night footage and everything else though. So please let me know if this video was of any value to you. Show this with some respect, click this playlist for more like it, and I'll see you over there. Pure spirit, yeah. no evils, yeah. good riddance.